Hi friends, welcome to Ness's Nook. So today I am going to try to use um, this combi again from Ninja, my new gadget. And what I'll be making is the chicken thighs with um, creamy mushroom and rice pilaf, okay? So I'm not using thighs, I'm going to be using chicken breast. But this is what the recipe looks like, alright? Now... My rice pilaf is going to be a little bit different than how theirs is. This I'll be making mine the way, well, I've never added vegetables to mine. However, um, this is being made for more people than the two. And I don't know how well this is going to work out. Um, I don't want to do a whole bunch, so I'm not going to be making the full amount. So I'm going to be cutting pretty much this recipe in half and going from there. So I have my combi open and I have the door a little bit pried open here so I could get some, so you can see it in the video. What I wanna do is grab some butter, all right? And what I'll be doing is I'll be taking some of my frozen onions because I put onions in my rice pilaf, all right? I'm hoping you can hear everything fine. It's fine. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And what we're gonna do is turn this to the air fry mode, which is going to be this side of the um, thing that you could choose from. And this side is this this side. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And I am going to go ahead and hit the sear and saute mode, all right? So meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Open door. Oops. You can tell I'm not used to this yet here. Open door. Okay, you must, I mean, you must have to probably leave the door open while you're, um, serious saute. I didn't read that yet in the book. So you're learning along with me, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, yep, the counts up. So what's going to happen is this is probably going to get warm in here. And then um, I'll just pry this open meanwhile with the rice. This is going to get a little bit warm. And then I'll go ahead and put the rice in there and get that warmed. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken prepped while this is going on. All right, so as you can tell, that's working kind of like a fry pan, which is kind of super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out a little bit here. And obviously that's going to stop cooking while this is out. I suppose you could probably even um, stir it while it's in there. And then it starts um, doing that again. So, anyways, I have my one chicken breast, so I'm going to go ahead and cut in half. Because um, those are really, really big breasts. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my paprika blend. And go ahead and put that over this here. And my garlic onion mix, even though this has got garlic in it, um, I wanted to have more. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. All right. Now I'm going to be pushing this off to the side for just a second here. Um, I have to get the rest of the stuff around. I was going to make my own um, cream of mushroom soup, which I will probably do next time. I'm just running a little bit late this time, but I'll push this aside real quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull this back out again. Give this a stir, and yes, that does say each time it kind of gives you that little beep saying that this is out. And because this is nicely being done, I think I can go ahead and put the rice in here for right now and start browning the rice also. 
Now each person, you know, you can make your rice peel off however you choose to. Um, this is usually how I make mine with like the Instapot. So go ahead and toss that back in there. I kind of like that idea that it's, you know, you could do everything like that like you would normally on the stove. So that's kind of super cool. That's going to start um, getting warm up again. I'm going to go ahead and get the broth and stuff around. All right, now the recipe also says to go ahead and use water. However, I am going to be using chicken broth because that's how I make mine. So I'll do the one cup here once this is cooking up just a little bit. Uh, we'll be throwing this in here. I wonder if I just bring it out just enough just to... Where it still stays cooking because I didn't pull it technically out all the way. I think this is going to be quite the learning curve for me, honestly. I'm not used to cooking everything in, you know, in, a, in a confined space, but I think I am going to like this a lot. All right, I think I toasted that enough. It could probably be toasted just a little bit more. However, I think this is going to be good enough. So what I'm going to be doing is giving this a little stir here. Go ahead and put in the one cup. I almost lost my spoon in there. And then, because they asked for three and a half cups, so this is going to be like one and three quarter cups of chicken broth here. Now I usually add some turmeric to mine. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some turmeric. It makes it a nice yellow and turmeric is always really good for you. Add some of my garlic and onion powder again. Just a little bit of salt because we got the salt. Well, that's reduced sodium anyways. All right, let me go ahead and give that a stir really quick. Well, that makes it a really nice, makes it a really nice yellow. And what they suggest is you throw some of the uh, carrots and peas in here. Now they say obviously two cups, but I'll only be probably be putting in what would be uh, the salmon. No reason to throw I guess that little bit back in the freezer. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir this in. Get that all ready to go. And put this back in here. Now on this, then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and start the chicken in here without the soup and you know, without the mushrooms at first, but then I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that on the top. So put that on that top level. Go ahead and we're still going to leave this on air fry, but I'm going to go ahead and hit um, stop to stop the saute. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit this. And this says it's actually going to be on the... Um, the combi, select the combo me, combi meals, which you're going to have to go back over to this. And there's the combi meals right there. Now, one thing I have learned about, like any of these ninjas, your, any of your air fryers, if you put it at the, they say 375 for 17 minutes. Myself, I would rather back that down and actually get that like at 350 and we might have to go up to 20 minutes I don't know I mean I'll, I'll be checking this as this goes along so what I'm be doing is bring this down to 350 and we will bring this up to the 17 minutes and see how that goes and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and then I guess what's gonna happen is this is going to steam for like three minutes and then it's going to go ahead and start its process. And I'll bring you back once that process starts. All right, the more I thought about it, I am going to make my own soup. I like my soup versus the Campbell's now. So um, I do actually have a video of how to make this. And I put the two cups of water in there. Um, because uh, I'll be using my freeze-dried mushrooms. So what you do is you put a, th a third cup of of the soup mix in here. All right. 
And then what I usually just do is I take my little whirly gig here, kind of give that a little bit of a uh, kind of start of this. Now this you can actually use as a cream of almost anything soup base mix. And then what I like to do is I like to add in some of my homemade onion soup mix. I know I had sent some of this to Melanie and she said it was really, really good. I like it. It just, it gives a little bit more of a flavor than just regular <clears throat> soup. And I'll be throwing in some of my uh, freeze dried mushrooms. So usually, you know, you would use like, um, well, you know, it did actually actually call for eight ounces of mushrooms. So I'm going to go ahead. I have to add a little bit more water to this because of the mushrooms. As you can tell, that the 17 minutes just clicked on. All right, just put that little bit more water in there. Go ahead and move this out a little bit. I don't know for sure because this isn't hot all the way outside yet. But you can see the steam. Whoop, no, you can't. You can see the steam right here. And I didn't want to have that extra underneath my counter. That's why I pulled this out. I'll get back to my soup here. So because I use the instant hot water from my sink, this takes nothing at all to bring the soup to um, bring it up to... Uh, being able to go ahead and serve it. So give that about a minute or so here and um, we'll show you what that's looking like. All right, as you can see, the soap is pretty much just done. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off. The, it'll be on the burner there for those couple minutes. I'm gonna let that chicken just cook for probably another three or four minutes before I throw this over the top of it. All right, as you can see, this is getting down to like the 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the soup I'll bring the, the container over here and just put it on my stove. Just pull this out. The rice is looking really good so far. That's a positive. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour the soup over top of the chicken. And obviously there's going to be quite a bit left. I'm sure it could be used for like a gravy or something of that sort. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in here and let that other time continue. Okay, so the 17 minutes went, went off. I don't know for sure if it's done. However, ouch. Lots of steam in there. This so far looks really, really good. And I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature. Because the rice is looking really good. I'm going to probably have to take a little spoon in there and see if the rice is getting done. Okay, the chicken is actually done. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if you can even see this. Well, that's a chicken. <laughs> can you kind of see in there kind of the rice? i take a little spoon here. See if the rice is done. Looks kind of fluffy to me. We'll see here real quick. It's hot, of course. <laughs> rice is done. So, I'm going to bring you over to the island. We'll get this plated up and we'll have dinner. Okay, friends, this is the final thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my fork for dinner. Go ahead and fluff this up a little bit. That rice looks amazing. With that little bit of a taste, I did taste, it tasted amazing. And there'll be definitely enough rice there for a whole nother meal. So <clears throat> that will be really good. Let me get a tong out real quick. All right, give me the smaller piece, give Mark the bigger piece. I'm going to go ahead and use this little 
uh, silicone one that's kind of like it's got a little bit of a spoon. Go ahead and stir this up a little bit and pour this on the top. I like the fact that it's got the extra gravy that you, well, not gravy, but soup that you can, because you all, you all know I don't care for dry food at all. All right. Go ahead and get out some of the rice. I love how this is going to be enough rice for a whole mother meal. So anyways, this, my friends, is the actual uh, uh, I forget the name of it. It'll be at the top, I'm sorry. But this is my own homemade rice. I did not use the rice aroni. I used my own made, homemade um, mushroom, mushroom soup. There'll be links down in the, in the bottom for this. So this is actually my first meal in that Ninja Kami. I think both plates look absolutely amazing. And um, we did end up, um, this was actually done on the 15 minutes at the 350 and they are done. So I'm gonna take, real quick, let me get my knife here. I know I don't give you guys too many taste tests here. <laughs> Most of the time the food's too hot. Okay, the chicken is not overcooked and dry, which is, that's a very good thing. Put a little bit of gravy on there, or soup. Very good first meal. Very, very good. So, um, I'm going to be searching around. Um for other meals, <clears throat> and you're gonna start to probably see more of these combi meals. I do like the fact that you can cook the two different meals in the same pot. I am going to have to find something, because um, I'd like to leave that pushed back further to where the steam can actually flow without it ruining my counters, their cabinets, um, but yeah. So anyways, if you have made this before, if you have a combi, let me know in the comments down below. If you have not um, had made one yet um, and you're thinking about getting one, I got mine at Best Buy for $1.99. I know um, Ninja was having a sale and they had a percentage off and it made it like $1.91 out the door. And I'm sure Black Friday is coming up here so they're still gonna start to have sales on stuff like that too. But so far, um, I made that cake. I made this dinner so far. So this is a two on two. And I'm impressed with both. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.